Hello everyone and welcome back to Jubilee Road. Well, finally. Well, we're back here today. Now it has been quite a while since I uh, did a video. Now if you are on my Facebook page, you'd know exactly why that was. Um, the temperature in the, uh, as you can see, the attic, because that's where I am, over the last few weeks has been unbearable. Uh, I haven't been able to get in the attic at all. Um, I haven't been able to run the trains. I haven't been able to do any work on the layout, which is a right pain in the backside. Um, but the good weather has its advantages. I can get out and see more real trains, which you probably saw. So today is just a little channel update, just to say what's going on, uh, what's coming up, and what I've also been up to. So we're going to talk about the layout first. Now you saw the um, that first A4, the the, um, the green one going past the camera, which is actually just about to now. Now you might hear me mention on Facebook that um, I've got a new one, which I have. This is the new A4 here at the layout. This is Golden Plover. Now this is to replace the original um, A4 that I had, Sparrowhawk, which is not in good condition anymore and it's not running very well. Uh, so I decided to replace it with that one. Um, the sound is coming out of Sparrowhawk today when I go down to MIB models and will be put in Golden Plover. Now the plan with that new A4, um, I'm going to be renaming it uh, Union of South Africa because I quite like that engine, I have seen it before as well. So that one will be named Union of South Africa. Now you've probably noticed a blue A4 going around. This is not a new A4, this is actually my granddad's uh, A4, it has been here uh, at some point in its life and here it is going past the camera. There we go, looking gorgeous that one, isn't it? Uh, it does have a sound chip, but at the moment it's turned off, so you can actually hear what I'm saying. If you want to hear what I'm saying, that is. You might not. That's up to you guys. Huh. Anyway, um, we do have a review coming up, which is the new Dapple Black Label A4. Uh, I did have an email off them last week saying that an update is coming very shortly. You know, I can't wait really really can't wait to get my hands on the black label a4 it's going to be a long review because there'll be so much to show you on it but i'm sure that's going to be a absolutely fantastic uh day when i get my hands on that right so we move to the part of the vid now where we say what's coming up well what's coming up on the layout as i said we got that uh review coming up um the fourth of july which is American Independence Day. Um, all the American stock at the layout will meet once again, like they did last year, for a big uh, running session. Uh, steam and diesel will all be uh, all be running together. That will be a nice gala, so uh, don't miss out on that. As usual, there'll be plenty of noise because they're American locos and they like to make a lot of noise, don't they? And they're rather large, as you probably noticed. Um, also coming up, uh, one of my subscribers did uh, suggest there is another three-part mini-series uh, will be coming soon, which will be a look at the rolling stock at Jubilee Road. So it's going to be in three parts. So that will be British rolling stock, American rolling stock, and German rolling stock. So that's uh, something else. That will be coming shortly. Um, also, there will be an A4 running gala once I get the new one. So we will be having three. Three A4s in that. Really looking forward to that. That's never been done at this layout before. Uh, also, um, we will be having a big LNER gala. That won't be just yet. That's probably going to be... I would imagine sort of after the summer now, that will be towards sort of September, October time, I think. Um, we'll be having some very famous engines in that. Um, we'll be having Tornado, uh, Flying Scotsman and Mallard all in the same gala. 
hardcore. Wouldn't that be amazing if that could happen in real life? Sadly, I don't think it ever will. But, there we go. Talking of uh, Flying Scotsman, as you know, I did go and see Flying Scotsman. Um, at Seven Tunnel Junction. Let's move the camera down there a bit so we can... Uh, at Seven Tunnel Junction. Uh, I believe, yes, it was last week. Just over a week ago. Um, what do I think of Flying Scotsman? Uh, I don't want to upset anyone. Um, but, I, to be honest, when I saw it, I was very, very underwhelmed by uh, Flying Scotsman, to be honest. I saw it and just thought, well... Why all the hype? I, I, I honestly, honestly don't get it. Uh, yes, it was the first uh, Steam Loco ever to do 100. Okay, there, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? It did a non-stop run to... Was it Edinburgh? London to Edinburgh? Something like that? Well, I don't even know, to be honest. And then it went to a couple of countries. I, I don't get all the hype on that Loco at all. It turned up 40 minutes late. But that was to these stupid idiots that won't keep off the track. No, if that's one of you who are listening, for God's sake, keep off the track, guys. You are going to ruin mainline steam for everyone if you carry on behaving like that. Come on, just keep off the track. It's dangerous. You might not think it. Oh, let's get this photo here. Just don't. If it's not safe to do, take a photo, just don't do it. As I said, I was at Flying Scot um I was at Flying Scotsman. It doesn't make no sense. I'm at it again on my first video back. Stupid. Um, I was at Seven Tunnel. Absolutely fantastic atmosphere there, I gotta be honest. Uh, absolutely jam packed. But uh, when Flying Scotsman turned up, as you probably saw in the video, it just glided through the station, a little whistle, and it was gone. I thought, well, that was a very disappointing to be honest. Not sure what was going on there. Um, you know, I much rather, much, much rather, have seen a king class flying through that station. I'd give, I'd have a king over uh, flying Scotsman any day. That's me. I absolutely love the king class. Actually, I prefer an A4 to flying Scotsman if I'm honest. Better looking, aren't they? Well, that's a bit weird. Did you notice that then, guys? That A4 went past with only two coaches, and it had another three. Uh, more messing up as usual. Anyway, yeah, that was Flying Scotsman. I do have a model of it, as you know. But in real life, I don't think I'd be uh, chasing it around the country like some people do. I don't really get it. Right, what else is coming up? Um. Well, actually, yeah, this time next week, I won't be... In my uh, in my attic at all. I'll be a long way. Um, I'll be taking a train from my from my local station to Cardiff Central, then catching a train from Cardiff Central to Southampton. Um, this is the weekend where I go to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now, sadly, nothing to do with trains. We're spending next Thursday in Southampton. Uh, we got a har me and my mate have got a harbour tour booked to see the three Cunard liners, which is, you know, the Queen Elizabeth, I think it's, did the Queen Mary? I can't remember all their names. So that's going to be really exciting. Now there is a train that I could film at Southampton. If we have time, I will do a video. I will be making a video of the harbour tour, and also I will be making a video of the three uh, cruise ships leaving Southampton. Thought I'd try my hand doing some shipping since I've done everything else. Um, I will be doing a video on the Festival of Speed. Uh, you've probably seen it last year. I absolutely love my cars as well as my trains, believe it or not. Actually, I love planes and ships. I like it all. All of it. Um, except for like, trains because I think they're rubbish. Um, so there's plenty, plen you know, plenty coming up. Um, the Facebook page is obviously still up and running. I do give more information on that than I do YouTube, obviously. Um, what else? I know there's something else I was going to say. Oh, right, yes. Now, I don't know how many of you play um, games. I am not sure. I bet some of you do. Now, I have, I've got an Xbox One. 
Now, I play motorsport games. Um, mainly, I play Forza Motorsport 6. Some of you might know what that is. And uh, obviously this is nothing to do with trains, but I thought if you play those games, add me as a friend and we can have a bit of fun racing around, racing around the track or on Grand Theft Auto, because I have that too. Fantastic game. Um, my name on there is uh, Welsh Dragon. 8943. Now, 89 was when I was born. And anyone know what the 43 stands for? Yes, you might have guessed what 43 stands for. It is the class 43, which is the HST. Um, so if yeah, if you want if you want to add me as a friend on there, just do. And um, it would be good to send me a message saying, yeah, I watch your YouTube videos, so then I can kind of guess who you are. So. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Have a race with me on there. Um, also, I might... I'm going to put it out to, you now, out to you guys now. Would you like me to start doing Train Simulator videos? Now, I do have Train Simulator 2016 on my laptop. And I am getting a recorder. So I can record straight off my laptop. Just let me know, guys, if you want to see Train Simulator videos... I'm more than happy to do them. The last thing to speak on then. Um, I do have a second YouTube channel. Uh, it's it's online, it's live. Uh, I will be starting videos on that very soon. Now this is my new gaming channel, which is WDR space and then gaming. Uh, I'll be doing, as I said, uh, gaming videos um, from Grand Theft Auto, um, Assetto Corsa, uh, Forza 6, Forza Horizon 3 when it comes out, and and so on. But don't, seriously guys, don't worry. I'm never going to stop doing videos on my railway channel. It's not going to happen, okay? So if you're interested in gaming, that will be up very, very soon. And please subscribe to that as well. So let me just, uh, before we go, just have a quick look at the layout. As you can see, I don't know what, seriously do know what happened to the A4. Um, that's what I was working on the last time I took a set of photos. You know, if that hot weather hadn't have come, I would have painted all that area. I would have grassed it, put the trees on and bushes, and it would have been done by now. But the, the sun decided to come out, which is... We don't know what that is, you hear, that, that is here in Wales. We don't understand. The sun comes out and we're thinking, what on earth is going on here? Because it never happens. Um, this part of the layout is in a heck of a mess. Something's making a funny noise over there. As you can see, a massive mess. Um, I am quite a messy person, you probably noticed that. But anyway. So guys, that was the channel update. Oh, there's a mess all over the floor as well. I don't believe that was me, actually. Someone's been up here making a heck of a mess. Just going to show you the new A4 there. Really nice, isn't it? Virtually exactly the same to the other one. It's just got the warning stickers. You can just see them here, which Union of South Africa does actually have. So there we have it, guys. My channel update. As usual, don't forget the Facebook page. Please go there and join in. Uh, send your pictures or videos of your layout onto my uh, Facebook page. I might start a couple of competitions going if guys start doing that. Best picture or best video or something like that. So there we have it guys. That's what's going on. Uh, I will be doing running galas and whatever and reviews very soon. So guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Leave me a comment. Um, that's it for now. You're probably sick of my Welsh stupid accent by now. There we go guys. I will leave you with the last shot of the A4 there. Thank you very much for watching everyone once again and uh, I'll speak to you all again in another video. Bye everyone.